We have almost 200 families within our school community who identify as BPOC. Um, and in addition to that, we are also, of course, educating the next generation of police officers, people who are judging people based on their application forms, um, you know, people who, who have got unconscious bias that we need to explore. So, you know, we're not only wanting to challenge um, explicit racism that exists within our community and, and wider society within Scotland, but also, and this has been the really powerful bit of our journey, to really to support our white community to move from that whole notion of white awareness to white allyship, so to being much more um, vocal and much more proactive in terms of the work uh, that we're doing. Um, and what's also been really important to us, and hopefully you'll this will come through, is to try and make this whole process as vertical as possible. Um, sorry, as horizontal as possible, in the sense that we it's really important this is not a top-down initiative. You know, there are real dangers and risks in this journey um, in terms of it becoming tokenistic, the need for it to be done sensitively, um, the fear of staff being alienated by it. So, you know, from the outset, we really wanted to make sure that as many staff and families um, and pupils have been involved in shaping the journey as much as possible. Um, and we've done that in, in a number of ways. Um, and to kind of give the overview of our strategic vision, and I'm going to pass on to my, my colleague shortly who's going to talk through some of this. Really, all of last year, our focus was on why we needed to do this. You know, to make sure it wasn't tokenistic, we really wanted to spend time exploring with staff and the majority of our staff do identify as white. So it's been quite a, a challenging conversation that Max has been skillfully leading through through professional learning with our staff and protected time to make sure they understood why this was important. 